Have we just seen another domino fall in favor of Vinco Ventures' low motive platform and its stock price at large? Send it to the freaking moon, idiot. Hi again, everyone. Hope you're all doing really well. So as an update to our previous discussion on Vinco Ventures, ticker symbol BVIG from a couple of weeks back, I wanted to share some news that could potentially impact the stock price come Monday and maybe a sign of other news catalysts to come for the stock. So reports indicate that the state of Montana is making moves towards banning TikTok, which could potentially benefit Vinco Ventures and their low motive platform. As a reminder, Low Motive is a mobile social media and video editing app that could serve as an alternative to TikTok in the event of a ban. They are very similar. Uh, with TikTok facing regulatory challenges and uncertainty, Low Motive could be safer bet for users and investors alike. So the details are that Montana has passed a bill known as SB 419, which if signed into law by Governor Greg Gianforte, will ban TikTok from, on personal devices in the state, making Montana the first US state to take such action. The bill cites concerns over alleged surveillance from the Chinese government and encourages dangerous activities among young users. Uh, the legislation makes it illegal for app stores to offer TikTok, but does not forbid existing users from using it. The penalty for violating the bill could be up to $10,000. Say what? Enforced by Montana's Department of Justice and applies to companies, not individual users. TikTok has suggested that it will take legal action to fight the bill. At present, there is no significant surge of new users moving away from TikTok towards Low Motive. However, if users start looking for a TikTok alternative, Low Motive could be well positioned to capture part of that market share. Um, beyond this, the news that Vinco Ventures has an upcoming meeting of shareholders this week on April 18th, where votes of 12 proposals will be revealed, is pretty important to flag at this point too. These proposals include an increase in authorised shares and a reverse stock split. While an increase in authorised common stock to $750 million from $249 million could be significant, the proposal for a reverse stock split in a ratio between 1 for 2 and 1 for 20 could have positive and negative effects on the stock. On the positive side, a reverse stock split could increase the per share value of the stock, making it more attractive to investors as well as rein in volatility around the stock price as there are less shares available to trade. However, the negative side of a reverse stock split is that it can signal financial distress which could hurt the stock price and further hurt existing shareholders. When reverse stock splits occur under such circumstances, it never looks good for the company. Anyway, overall, there are both positives and negative factors to consider when it comes to investing in Vinco Ventures. The potential for regulatory uncertainty around TikTok and the ongoing growth of the social media and video editing space could be a positive for BBIG stock. However, the proposals for an increase in authorized shares and a reverse stock split could dilute the stock price and signal financial distress from the company. Investors will need to weigh these factors carefully when deciding whether to invest in BBIG stock or not. In any case, with the potential for regulatory uncertainty around TikTok and the ongoing growth of the social media and video editing space, Finko Ventures could be worth watching closely in the coming weeks and months, but also particularly on Monday. Whether the stock is poised for a surge or not remains to be seen, but it's certainly an interesting company to keep an eye on at the moment. I think most should be keeping an eye out for it come Monday. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this once retail investor meme stock juggernaut? Um, is it finally going to have its time in the sun or are shareholders destined for further pain? Do you think the Montana ban will lead to similar moves from other states in America? And do you think it will pass assent from the governor? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.